Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and do a quick update. So if you've been following this channel or my Patreon or my Facebook page, then you know that for the last year, we've been talking about this year's front side alignment and how we will see earthquake activity be really heightened. It'll be globally, but especially to watch the West Coast in California. That was the big thing was California. Now we did that a year in advance of like last year's front side alignment. That whole year in advance, we talked about, okay, watch California, watch California. You know, all the months leading up to, Cal to California's seven points in the West Coast, and you know they had the big earthquakes in Canada. Um, leading up to that, we talked about the time frame that we would see that occur in, that would be during this direct front side alignment with the Brown Dwarf system. So, you know, as that happened, we, we saw that activity happen, and it happened exactly on cue. And it happened exactly as we thought it would. So as we headed out of that and kind of went into this quiet period, we have been talking about, okay, next year's front side alignment. When we go into that, we need to watch California. Watch California very closely. Um, so here we are. I've been talking about it on Facebook and on my Patreon a lot. Um, we are nearing, well, we're coming into the front side alignment as we speak. So the direct front side alignment is in July and August, but we start to have the activity pick up. So you saw, or you've been, I know that you've all noticed that um, the last few months, it was kind of a quiet period. There was not much going on. And then all of a sudden here recently, we started having a bunch of six points and then it started being a bunch of seven points. So that's as we come into this alignment. So remember, that means that in the front side alignment, we are on the same side of the sun as the brown dwarf system, but it's to the south of us under the ecliptic. So um, it's coming up from the south. Now, when we have the back side alignment, it's kind of aligned. It's down below, but it's on the opposite side of the sun. But we're in the worst possible alignment there is. The front side alignment is the strongest alignment. So... Anyways, let me get into this real quick. I've been talking about that for the last year. We all have our group about, you know, California needs to be on heightened alert. The West Coast, you know, all that area. We saw, you know, all that activity happen last year. We need to watch it this year's front side alignment too. Sure enough, we're coming into that alignment and we've just had a six point. So we need to have eyes on this. Um, the direct part of the alignment is like the end of July into the beginning of August. But you can see activity from, you know, then, like I started the watch from like around May, but I really picked up on the watch about June 18th. I made a, a post, you know, now eyes on California. So we need to watch it now. Now through the front side alignment. So this can last throughout September I would watch mainly in July and August but keep watching in September also so um, this is a California watch but you also need to watch the activity overall globally to see what this does you know any odd spots being hit and the volcanic act or the volcanic activity the volcanic and magma that's a big one when there's magma movement this causes all kinds of magma movement, movement, and we are already seeing all kinds of volcanic earthquakes and magma movement happening. So I just wanted to jump on here and do this kind of quick update. June 4th, I posted California and the West Coast will need to be on alert throughout the front side alignment. Um, now, and then I, that's where I wrote that last year's front side alignment in July saw the seven points. Um, and then I also wrote that we can still see this occurring heading out of the alignment in September as well. Um, but that we are really watching July and August for the direct alignment. So yeah, this was just an update to let everyone know that they should have eyes on California and the West Coast in general and globally. The increase will be globally, but I want everyone in California to be extra alert and have a plan. Um, throughout this whole front side alignment. And I've been working with a lot of people on having a plan. If you're staying in California during this, have a plan. We've been working with people for the last few months for this time frame, and we are coming into this time frame. So please 
have a plan just in case. Each year's front side alignment becomes stronger than the last front side alignment. So now that doesn't necessarily mean that the biggest of the earthquakes will hit California, but it is a possibility. Um, I just want everyone to be on alert and not be scared at all, but be prepared. So have that plan and kind of watch the activity and monitor the activity. I see a swarm occurring right now. So I'm noting that and hopefully this was not a foreshock to something bigger. It's a possibility, but hopefully not. Um, now this whole watch for California should actually be for the whole West Coast. I mean, the whole West Coast should have a plan just in case. And I just wanted to note, we were kind of watching Mexico also and they've had activity. And then my husband was watching Iceland before it even had its big hits. So um, we kind of have our own spots we're watching during this front side alignment. And then as we see the storm start to occur or see certain activity, or we use the charging data, like the tech data, um, so the ionospheric charging, to see where the next earthquakes could possibly be. So if we see any intense charging um, going on over any areas, especially California. California actually recently had some very big charging happening um, on the tech data, so that made us put out an even bigger alert for California. Um, I'll show that here, right here. Okay, so I will watch all the data, you know, and all that, and if there's anything like that happen, or if there, if anything like that happens again with the tech data, I will make a video so people have a few weeks to know or to prepare for the possibility of an even bigger earthquake happening. Um, all right, well, sorry I'm all jumbled right now. My mind is like a million places trying to get some stuff done, have a lot going on, but um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments, and later when I have time, I'll try to get back to everybody. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to throw this update on here. You'll have a great day.